Hello everybody, this is the Fire HD6 tablet and today I'm going to show you how you can install the Fire OS 5.0 developer preview on this device as well as the HD7. The process for the HD7 will be the same as the HD6. Um, just keep, keep in mind this is a redone video um, because the first one I did um, the camera was a bit shaky and I also want to add a bit of new information so here you can see it is running version 5.0 of the developer preview now before I show you exactly some of the uh, features of this version I first want to show you quickly how you can install this because it's a pretty quick and easy process first what you want to do is go into the this developer preview page I'll leave the link in the description now what you want to do is scroll down to where you see get developer preview once you press the get developer preview button you will be prompted to log into your Amazon account and then you will be prompted to select your device and here you can see that it's compatible for the HD6 and the HD7 now before you go ahead and get this um, I do want to say that if you don't have knowledge in ADB or the Android debugging bridge and you don't have that installed on your computer and all set up I would suggest you don't install this developer preview unless you don't mind being able to not downgrade you can only so far I know of you can only downgrade uh, from using the ADB tools so with that said let's go back into the actual software and by the way once you uh, choose your device to speed up the update you can go into the system updates tab from device options and press the check now button and you should be prompted to um, update with that said um, let's look at some of the changes to this operating system uh, first of all this is running uh, Android 5.1 lollipop as you can see by the pull down menu it's very similar to a lollipop AOSP based um, operating system it's a bit different but uh, for the most part the this operating system is a lot closer to stock AOSP as it is to the Amazon UI now let's take a look at the bottom uh, before you would swipe up for recents uh, but now you can just press the recents button just like in a normal lollipop uh, operating system and as well as swiping to remove an app now let's head on to the home screen the first thing you'll notice is you don't go into this carousel UI like you did before it's actually just going into a normal um, Android based AOSP based launcher and everything about this launcher is pretty normal there's nothing fancy about it Here you can see the apps and widgets you can add widgets now one thing good about this is that it does allow you to change the wallpaper uh, without any issue and that was an issue before uh, because if you wanted a third party launcher there would be no wallpaper it would just be a black screen in the background with that said there is no issue setting a launcher as default you don't need to do any special ch special changes like you had to before now um, let's I finally want to just show you the lock screen it's a bit different from how it used to be before you would just swipe to the left but now you can swipe left for the camera and swipe up 
to unlock the screen. So, unlocking the screen just brings you back uh, into the operating system. And now I want to just talk a little bit about apps. Some of the apps are um, stock AOSP based um, as opposed to before. You still have the uh, Silk web browser somewhere in here, but, well, I don't see the Silk web browser right now, but I thought it was in here. Maybe not. But there is an AOSP-based browser. Here you can see it's just a normal-looking web browser. So there's not really much um, else to show you. The settings are um, look a bit nicer. Everything just looks a little bit nicer. It seems to be pretty uh, smooth. Everything seems to be pretty smooth. I've noticed a small graphical glitches, but it seems to be pretty smooth and probably about the same speed as the previous version. And the previous version, you probably are running version 4.0. 5.4 and this is version 5. Now I want to talk a little bit about downgrading. Uh, this is why I was talking about uh, why I was recommending having ADB set up. If you ever wanted to downgrade back to 4.5.4 you can go to this page which I'll have linked in the description and then you press the download software update. Once you downloaded it it downloads as a bin file and then what you will need to do is first go into recovery in, on your device which can be done by running the command adb reboot recovery whenever it's booted up or if it's not booted up you can hold down the volume up and volume down button and power and hold that down until it boots into recovery. Now, once it's in recovery, you go into up, apply update from ADB. You press that, and then it will be waiting for the side load. So, from the terminal or command prompt, you type in ADB side load update dash Kindle, etc. dot bin. And then you uh, will go through the update process, and then it should reboot into that version. And before you reboot, uh, be sure to do a factory reset from the recovery. Alright, so that about covers it all. Thank you all for watching. If you like this type of videos, uh, please subscribe. Thanks again.